Hey everybody, what's happening? Son of a Silver Stacker here. In today's numismatic news and information for the 24th day of January 2023, I'd like to welcome you over to JM Bullion so we can look at the live spot prices. But before that, I'm going to welcome you to join us at a good morning to you. We're going to be talking about the American Innovation Ohio coins. That's right. And then later on this evening at 8 p.m. Eastern Time and 5 p.m. Pacific, we're going to have Trading Card Tuesday, a live card auction. Now, another thing I want to do is give a huge shout out and a big thank you to all of our channel members. This will be a lot more challenging. Uh, without your support really appreciate all y'all now over here to jm bullion let's go ahead and hit reload to find out where we're at now it looks like gold is up 536 to 1944 91 silver's up 17 cents to 2387 platinum's down almost a dollar to 1067 21 palladium down 432 to 17 61 51 look at that almost 200 dollars lower than gold uh, palladium is it's just remarkable now if you wanted to pick up a 2023 american silver eagle from these guys here um, you're going to be paying about sixteen fifty over spot. So that really has not changed in about a month's time. And we can thank the United States Mint Bullion Sales for that particular drop in price for those premiums, right? So let's go here to the Bullion page. I don't know why I just did that, but here we go. It looks like the United States Mint, okay, these were at 101,000. When I say these, that's a one ounce gold American Eagle, was at 101,000 just yesterday, but they've added 3,500 to those totals. And I tell you, I love this uh, highlight tool because when something changes, it takes the highlight off. And so because of that, we know that there's no silver that has been added since yesterday. So that's wonderful news. Now, Back to the United States Mints, there was a press release just yesterday, January 23rd. Title of the press release is Ohio American Innovation $1 Coin Products on Sale January 30th. Folks, this is less than a week away, and I believe it is probably going to be, well, the most beautiful design so far, the most inspiring design, the most, um, you know, just uh, uplifting your brother. I mean, isn't that what it's all about? Uh, you know, you lift somebody else up, they lift somebody else up, and so on and so forth. Uh, and just cascades from there, and then all of a sudden, nobody else needs helping, right? Isn't that amazing? Wouldn't that be something? So here we go. Washington, D.C., January 23rd, 2023. Rolls and bags containing the first American Innovation $1 coin of 2023 will go on sale January 30 at noon Eastern time. All right? The reverse, that's the tail design. That's right there. I just showed it to you. Design of these coins and these products honors innovation from the state of Ohio. The following packaging options from the United States Mint's facilities at facility with... At, <laughs> at <fi> facilities <laughs> at Philadelphia and Denver. I almost mix those two words up. Anyway, I'd like to tell you I am enrolled for these two products here, the 25 coin roll from Denver and Philadelphia. Um, and listen, something different that Mint is doing this year as opposed to all the other years these coins have been coming out, especially the Mint State coins, right? The circulating ones. Well, well, they're not circulating. They're uncirculated finish. Is that there's a product limit of 10, all right? That is the first time they've done this for these particular coins and that's really interesting since they've been doing this since 2018 right this is incredible all right so like i said i think my strategy this year is to buy two of each uh and then possibly sell uh two of them one of each maybe a year and a half down the road because i really do believe these are going to be something really special uh out of the whole collection so far i mean and that doesn't mean to say i don't mean to say that there will not be another one as beautiful as inspiring as this one but so far i think this is the most amazing one so far now here we go orders are limited to 10 items of each product per household and i didn't even go over the prices so 34.50 for a roll 117 for a 100 coin bag from philly or denver all right so 17.50 for a hundred dollars 17.50 for a hundred dollar bag of that and then 950 and then 950 for the 25 coin roll from philly and denver let me keep on keeping on now it's introduced in 2018 and authorized by public law 115 197 the american innovation one dollar coin program is a multi-year series featuring distinctive reverse designs that pay homage to america's ingenuity and celebrate the pioneering efforts of individuals or groups from all 50 states the district of columbia and the u.s territories now the american innovation coin from 2023 features the state of ohio and the reverse design depicts two strong hands grasped together the upper arm pulling the lower arm upward representing the support and strength required by both parties on the underground railroad think about that folks um underground railroad where I mean, it, it, there was no internet, there was no telephones, there was no, I'm going to text you and meet you here at this time. I mean, that's it. I mean, that was all, I mean, and they didn't even know anybody down the way, down the line. You may knew two groups, one coming and one going, and that's it. And that's far as your relationships went. Um, and there's a museum in Cincinnati that you can go to um, that is remarkable. Now, 
uh, um, now a chain fastened to a rustic shackle around the lower arms, wrist snaps and fragments alluding to the hope of freedom. That's incredible. It's such awe-inspiring uh, goodness. The inscriptions are United States of America, Underground Railroad, and Ohio. The design was created by United States Mint Artistic Infusion Program, AIP, designer Beth Zankin, and sculpted by United States Mint Medallic artist Stephen Lane. Now, Ohio is proud to have its part. this part uh, of our history on the new $1 coin. Ohio had many stops on the Underground Railroad, and today the National Underground Railroad Freedom Center near the banks of the Ohio River in Cincinnati tells the story of the fight to freedom, said Governor Mike DeWine. That's amazing, and I would love to go to that uh, museum someday. That is amazing. Now, it says the United States Mint is honored to showcase Ohio's pivotal role in the Underground Railroad Network, said Mint Director Venture C. Gibson, the network of individuals, families, friends, and churches that cover uh, covertly helped slaves escape to freedom was truly an innovation of human compassion and ingenuity. Absolutely. Um, the obverse, and that's the head design of all these coins in this series, features a dramatic representation of the Statue of Liberty in profile with the inscriptions in God We Trust and One Dollar. It also includes a privy mark of a stylized gear representing industry and innovation, and those privy marks change every single year. Okay, AIP designer Justin Kuntz created the design, which was sculpted by medallic artist Phoebe Hemphill. Now accused on the edge of the coin are 2023 and the mint mark E Pluribus Unum. There you go. Isn't that cool? Let's see here. Um, additional coin products. I wonder if there's any images. Nope, no images there. And it doesn't really show you the uh, obverse, but that's okay. I did show you the reverse, and I think that's one of the most important parts of the coin in this series. I love that. Isn't that amazing? It's just gorgeous. Now let's get over here to the American Innovation $1 coin rolls and bags. There they are. Um, and, you know, like I said, um, you know, I'm going to be buying two of each of the rolls. Now, one thing I wanted to point out is that this is the Denver roll for thirty-four fifty, and they're going to have a product limit of seven thousand, and that's pretty much standard issue for American innovation coins. Okay, but what's not standard issue is that ten household order limit. And check this out. Now, if we go to Philadelphia, they've got actually eight thousand a product limit and ten household order limit. So there's an additional seven thousand of those products from the uh, Philadelphia Mint. But I'm covered. I got two from each. Now let's keep on keeping on. The Bessie Coleman quarters still do not have a price tag. All right. It's still to be determined. And I, I really think we're probably going to get into the $60 range for that three roll set featuring that um, coveted, highly coveted roll from San Francisco. Now let's keep on keeping on. I got a really important thing that I wanted to show you. Now this is the United States Mint 2023 product schedule. All right. And the Mint did some shuffling around uh, yesterday. Um, wanted to share that with you. Now we got the um, Ohio bags and rolls coming out the 30th. Then we got the Native Americans on the 6th. Then we got the James Buchanan Presidential Silver Medal. And that comes out February 13th. What's interesting about that is sometimes the Mint says that these are from San Francisco. And then sometimes they don't say anything at all like this one here. Okay, I thought that would wanted to share that with you. Now, Bessie Coleman, that did not change. We're still looking at the uh, 14th on that one. I do believe this is um, new. But what I wanted to show you is that the American Eagle, the proof coin in the congratulations set and the coin by itself there, well, they've moved the date back about a week or so. So it was on the uh, February 28th. Now it's March 2nd. And look at this. We have a date for the two and a half ounce silver medal featuring the United States Army. And that is minted out of Philadelphia. And all of the Army two and a half ounce medals are minted out of Philadelphia. And I believe all the one ounce are minted out of San Francisco. Now check this out. We also have a date for the American Women Quarters proof set. And that comes out March 21st. I do believe I will be passing on that particular product this year. Um, just seeing how the, um, I guess the 22 proof set didn't really, well, I can't say the 22 proof set, the American women quarters, 22 proof set was really kind of a disappointment, even though the packaging was really awesome. I'm going to get one on a subscription, but I won't, you know, buy five and sit on them for five years. I just, I probably won't do that, but you know, that's just me. That's what I'm doing. That's my strategy. Let's keep on keeping on. So the Edith Kanaka Ole quarters, they come out March 27. And that is, uh, one of the favorite coins of some of the personnel at the United States Mint. It is beautiful, no doubt about it. Now, here we go, March 30. Um, we have one, two, three, four, five products coming out. We got the four coin gold set, right? And then the four gold coins. Now, here we are. So there's, what, 50 products on the mint schedule right now? Right there, 50-50, it says. Um, but listen, that's 30% of their products that are here for March 30th, okay? And we're just barely into spring. So it looks like the mint's getting really... Um, Look, if they're already at 30% of the product in the first three months, um, it looks like they're going to be able to add uh, quite a few products to this year's schedule. Um, or they won't be doing too many things, or they're going to be um, have excess time to, to 
I guess, stock the shelves with all this inventory that's on the product schedule now. Um, so also wanted to um, talk to you about, look at that. So here we go, American Women Quarters. Silver proof set does not have a date. Um, let's keep on keeping on. I think I highlighted the ones I wanted to show you here. There we go. Andrew Johnson Presidential Silver Medal. That one does say San Francisco. Armed Forces One Ounce Silver Medal. That says Philly. Morgan Dollar from Philly. Peace Dollar from Philly. Those have not changed. Still say summer. Now check this out. I thought this was really interesting. And one thing I wanted to share with you is that the proof set from last year, I believe, came out in March. And it sold out, I believe, um, basically in October. So about seven or eight months, the proof set from 2022 was available. And that is the lowest minted proof set from, I think, well, in ages, especially in the modern coin era. Um, and, well, I think that begs the question, will the proof set of 2023 also be very special and a key date set as well, like the 2022 proof set was? Um, these are all questions that we need to be asking. And, um, you know, what are the mintages going to be of the proof set? Is it going to be just under 400,000 like we were this last year? Or the mint is, is the mint going to go gonzo and go like 500,000? Uh, it's definitely something we need to pay attention to. Um, and then we have the silver proof set in 2023 and the uncirculated coin set as well. So there's some two core products. Um, and usually, you know, when the mint does do a change for the product schedule, I like to kind of go over everything here on the schedule just to, you know, because I can use this um, to view again and go back and compare and contrast today's mint schedule to the one in this video that you're going to be watching now. So there you go. American Eagle, one ounce silver proof coin, San Francisco comes in the fall. Um, and then the American Women Quarters Tall Chief uh, comes out in fall. Armed Forces, one ounce Marine Corps, San Francisco. Um, and that's a one ounce. And then limited edition silver proof set. I really hope this is going to be a reverse proof or a privy mark set. That would be fantastic. Thank you very much. And I think that's about it. And I'm just going to get to the bottom. That way I can, yep, there we go. I can document everything. So there it is. Let me get to the plus ones here today, folks. Now, bam. What do you give a sick lemon? Well, lemonade, of course. Silly. <laughs> now. It's better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. And that's Psalms 118. Psalms, Psalm 118, 8. I wonder why there's a plural there. Anyway, either way, let's give that a go one more time. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in men. What does that mean to you? I mean, right? I mean, yeah, you can translate it. Don't change the meaning, but you can translate it so you can understand it better for yourself, right? I think that's important to know. Now, let's head over to 395.99.9 K-O-I-N coin news. Network. I think that works. Coin News Radio doesn't really work. And Coin News TV, well, let's just say network. But anyway, either way, it's all good. This is Boston. And the name of this song is Smokin'. And it's got lyrics, too. Pretty cool. I want to thank you all for watching, folks. Thanks for dropping by. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you do like what you're in, see, please subscribe to the channel. It's free. Also, hey, stop by today. Uh, love to see you. And uh, stop by this evening. It's Trading Card Tuesday, a card auction. That's right. Son of a silver stacker.